Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back. I haven't been on YouTube for like two weeks or maybe longer than that. Um, but today I'm gonna be doing an ASOS haul and I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little bit excited for autumn, so all of these pieces aren't very summery. But anyway, let's get started. So the first item is this tie-dye top. It's quite a nice kind of just simple jersey fabric. I think it's slightly kind of navy blue, black color. Um, but I love the tie-dye pattern on the front. And then it also has this huge cutout on the back, which is super, super cool. I really, really love it. I have tried it on and it is a little bit gappy on the sides, but that could just be because I have no boobs. So if you have bigger boobs, it could potentially fit you better. But I'm gonna size down, I think, cause I got this in a size eight and that might be why, cause it's a little bit big on me. I'm not sure. Um, but I do really, really love it and I think it's really, really cool. So yeah, it's like simple on the front and then party on the back. Next we have these kind of fake leather shorts. These look like a dark ready brown. I got these in a size six and they are a little bit tight on me. Don't know whether it's because I was a little bit <laughs> I did get a size six and they were a little bit tight on me, but that might have just been because I was a bit bloated that day. Um, but I do really, really love them. The only downside is I don't have flipping pockets. Now, if they had pockets, I think I'd be sold and would definitely be keeping them. But because of that, I'm not actually 100% sure. And to be honest, I don't know how much wear I'm going to get out of them because I don't think I'm going to wear them in the winter or the autumn because I don't think I'd wear them with black tights. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these. But they do have a matching oversized dad shirt, which I absolutely love. Same color, same material. It's very, very oversized, so it's a really, really nice fit. This one I got in a size 8 because I wanted it to be really oversized. But I love the sage green lining inside. So I think this one was like 50 quid, I think. And the shorts are 25 I think. Yeah, like oh, the cord is super, super cute together, but I just don't know how much I'm actually going to wear it. So I'm probably going to send back the shorts and then just keep the shirt. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Then I picked up another tie dye top. Um, this one again is in a very beautiful kind of dark black and khaki green colours. Colour? Colours? Color. It's a really nice ribbed material as well. I already have this in purple and white. So when I saw they released a darker version, ready for like autumn winter, I was like, oh my God, I need that. So I got this in a size eight and it just fits perfectly. I believe this one was 18 pounds, I think, which honestly is not bad at all. No, I think it's good. Oh yeah, looking at this, you can kind of see a, uh, a pattern with the colour palette. It's all very kind of dark and neutral tones. And a little bit of green, obviously, because I love green. Um, but the next one is this knitted t-shirt cardigan top thing. Um, it's a beautiful kind of dark chocolate brown knit. It's got the v-neck and the buttons down the front. This just looks super cute with like some straight leg jeans or dad jeans. Skinny jeans, any kind of jean. I just think it's a really cute little simple basic. This one was 12 pounds. Oh, it's one in size six as well. Um, I was debating whether I should have gone bigger, but when I ordered it, but then when it arrived and I tried it on, I was like, nope, perfect size. So I would stick to your true size for this one. Another knitted top, don't know why, because we're still in July. Um, and again, it's brown. Again, I don't know why, but I really, really loved the square neckline and the long sleeved. It's a really nice kind of, um, is it like a chestnut brown? Maybe like, a, um, is that a chestnut brown? Maybe like a, a conker brown? Does that sound gross? Conker brown or chestnut? Like, like red, red. A walnut? No, not a walnut. A reddish tone. Yeah, but anyway. I really love the knit. It's kind of like patterned or textured. Can you see? Um, I just think it's a really sophisticated, simple, classic knitted jumper top. Jumper top? Yeah, we're gonna go with that. It's a jumper top. 
Um, I just love the neckline. So I got this one in a size six. Haven't tried this one on yet, so the try on clip will be the first time. But um, I've got high hopes. Another long sleeve top <laughs> is this one here. Again, it's a really nice kind of brown colour. So it's got the really nice kind of round scoop neckline and then the buttons. Online it says it's a super crop, but because I'm five foot three and I'm very, very short, it's just a crop on me. Um, but it's the perfect length. So it is supposed to come up quite short, but yeah, it doesn't, I don't really get that look. But I just really, really like it. Again, it's just a really nice basic to wear some jeans. It's a beautiful colour. It's very neutral, so it goes with a lot of stuff. And this one I got in a size 8. Um, the reason I got it in a size 8 because I didn't have a size 6. So I was like, oh, screw it. I'll just get the 8. But the 8 actually fits perfectly. It was a little bit tight on my arm, so I think they do come out quite small. So if you want to get it, then maybe try sizing up. This one was super, super cheap. I think it was like £16. Yeah, I really, really love this. And then lastly for clothing is this green jump. No, it's not a jumper, a blazer. <laughs> this green blazer. This is a proper oversized dad blazer. It's got the proper like shoulder pads in it. It's really boxy and oversized. And then I went for a size 10 to really, really kind of like emphasize the oversized look yeah yeah i just really wanted it oversized so i got a size 10 um and i really love the green color too it's beautiful and i don't really know what else to say but yeah i got this one over he said what size how much was it i think this was 45 pounds which i don't think is too bad to be honest i'm not gonna lie i've paid more for a blazer so I think this is going to look really, really nice in the autumn. Again, it's just super easy just to chuck on, like with some nice blue straight leg jeans, a white tee tucked in, oversized blazer, sorted. So yeah, happy with that one. Then we're going to go into bags. I've got three out of like 10 that I wanted. Um, but the first one is this bag here. So. I don't know if you guys know, but the croissant bag or whatever it's called is very, very popular. I think it's like the Petiga one. Um, but obviously that's ridiculously expensive, so I'm not going to pay for that. But this one came on ASOS. It was only £16. It's like a cool little dupe, but I'm undecided whether to keep it because I don't know whether I'm actually going to use it. Because I think the thing I don't like the most is like the, re the really, really raunched. Is it raunched? Runched? raunched handle it's just a bit too much i think it's like a scrunchie it's a scrunchie handle um but yeah it's probably the closest thing i'm gonna get to like the batiga bag so and it was a really good price as well but it's a fake leather material and it's a really nice kind of off-white cream color so i'm undecided what to do about this one but yes and then next we have this one here this is a beautiful kind of like taut beige colour. It's quilting, got the little panels on the front. Again, it's that fake leather material, so it's really, really soft. Um, this handle, right, so I thought I could have it as a, as a crossbody, but it's a bit too high, I think. The, the handle's slightly too short just to wear it as a crossbody. So, oh, the option... <laughs> The only other way that I think you can wear it is kind of like on your shoulder, like an actual shoulder bag, or you hold it as a clutch. Um, which, to be honest, I don't mind. I don't mind doing that, and I have already worn it, so I've already decided on keeping it. I'm talking like as if I haven't. But yeah, it's a really nice colour. It's got your gold, metal, and I think it's £18, which is so good. So, so good. So yeah. And then the last item is this bag here again i've already worn this one so i've already decided that i'm keeping it but this is from asos and it's the brand glamorous so it doesn't really look like much um but i wore it as like a little kind of really oversized bum bag and yeah i really really like it i follow this blogger called monique and she has the kind of designer version of this bag so she was my inspiration for it um it's very very again i'm obsessed with the soft leather material at the moment very soft material um black color they do 
do it in a beige as well which I'm debating because I wanted to get this in beige but I was like well if I'm getting this I don't need it in beige um but it was only 22 pounds it has a lot of storage as well it's huge in here only downside is not gonna lie is when you do fill it up with stuff it goes a bit saggy <laughs> um so you have to be careful not put too much like heavy stuff in it but I think it's just a really cool like chunky piece for autumn oh yeah imagine that over like some chunky jumpers mm, yeah that's the vibe well anyway that's everything that I got like I mentioned it's very very autumnal did I say that right autumnal, autumnal. yeah yeah basically getting yeah, ready for autumn and done with summer <laughs> but i will leave all the links in the description box below and i hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and i shall see you all very very soon bye